To start with, we should ask ourselves, what exactly is evolution? Evolution is the change of a population as a result of natural selection that acts on genetic variation of the organisms, resulting in the development of new species. Then, new questions appear, such as how quickly does evolution occur, and does it always occur at the same speed? Scientists have tried to answer these questions and have come up with two theories of the rates of evolution. Firstly, gradualism. Gradualism is the slow and steady nature of geologic change. If we wanted to represent gradualism in a line graph, this is what it would look the like. The following example fits perfectly with what gradualism is. About 50 million years ago, the existing land mammals, which in this case were the ancestors of the wolf, saw the need to evolve in order to adapt to their environment, which was mostly water, for various reasons. Firstly, because they wanted to escape predators that couldn't swim. Also, because they needed more resources and food. Over a long period of time, slowly and steadily, the wolves began to change. Different bones and muscles changed shape, and their skin lost its fur and ended up having impermeable and resistant skin underwater. The shape changed completely. Dolphins and wolves today don't look the same as they did millions of years ago. An example is that dolphins don't breathe through their no two nostrils like wolves do. Instead, they have a spout on their back. Also, it has different functions. Wolf have a great sense of smell to find their food. Instead, dolphins, in order to find their prey, developed other ways to accomplish this, using vocalization that consists in making sounds and clicks that are steadily, that are directional and for echolocation. All of this happens slowly and steadily in a long period of time. In general, all sea mammals originated from terrestrial mammals. The second theory is punctuated equilibrium, which is a pattern of long, stable periods interrupted by brief periods of rapid change. Going back to the graph of gradualism, we can see that if we zoom out, we can see that punctuated equilibrium consists of gradualism, but it is interrupted by periods of rapid change in which the organisms feel the need to evolve quickly. The need for this can have various reasons, such as a mutation, change in the environment, natural disasters, and others. Imagine a population of turtles that live in a lake near a big city. The population of turtles is divided into two species. The first species is the water turtles, characterized by having closed hooves, reason why they can only swim and live in water. Instead, the other species have open hooves, which allow them to both swim and walk on land, reason why these are called mud turtles. The city next to the lake needed a new place to deposit their waste and trash, so they decided to dump them in the lake that was the habitat to the turtles. The mud turtles moved quickly out of the lake in order to survive and escape the polluted lake, while the water turtles had no other option. So they died because of the hunger and the disease from all of the waste. These turtles became extinct. The mud turtles had to evolve and reproduce in a short amount of time in order to survive. Their new offsprings were born with their same trait of having open hooves, which allowed them to move to another habitat that had less water but they could still survive in, and continue evolving by finding the resources and all of the food they needed. The change in environment due to pollution forced the turtles to evolve rapidly in a short period of time. Both of these theories have been studied and questioned many times, but it is very clear that evolution during Earth's history has occurred at different rates depending on the time and organism.